You've heard of working smarter and not harder. So this next experiment is a perfect demonstration of that principle. I've got two books here and the pages are interwoven and all I need is someone to pull them apart. Simple, right? Can paper be as strong as steel? You guys want to help out with the science experiment? Yeah, Okay, right. all you have to do is just pull these books apart. You want to give it a go? Sure. Okay. <laughs> just grab one here, one here, and pull them apart. All right, easy enough. Okay. Just a phone book. <laughs> just go ahead and start. Yeah, I'm trying. Just like whenever you're ready. You want to? <laughs> ready to get these glued together? There's no glue, I promise. <laughs> Shouldn't be that hard, right? But here's the science behind the struggle. Any mere mortal can pull one page from in between two. But even though you can't feel it, these pieces of paper create a tiny amount of friction as they rub against each other. Naturally, that multiplies when you deal with more and more pages. There are also other physical forces conspiring with friction to make you look like a weakling. <laughs> I thought the good. yelling would help. I did too. As you pull, the pages are also trying to straighten out to line up with the spine. But since they're interlinked with the other book, they can't fully straighten. <laughs> Instead, the pages squeeze and squeeze against each other. Can't get it. Creating a chain reaction of increasing friction. So the friction increases exponentially. This is a phenomenon known as the geometric amplification of friction. That's a real thing. And together, two average phone books can perform the steely feat of lifting more than two tons. So you shouldn't feel bad. You were actually trying to pull apart like two tons. Well, two tons, wow. So how do you separate the phone books? Now why don't you try? By using something more powerful than no. your biceps. There you go. Oh, no. Your brain. Nice. <laughs> well done.